Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, Jolly Foxes Education. I wanted to talk to you today about CGP. What do I mean by CGP? I mean these beauties. Oh yes, indeed. Um, I have a short collection of CGP books um, that I highly recommend for uh, teaching and learning. So, Here's the thing though, you've got a massive shelf of all these CGP books, but you're actually having to teach online. How on earth do you do it? It gets a little bit frustrating, um, especially when you're going to turn to page to turn here, if you do this, if you do that. And it gets really frustrating for you, but also your student. However, CGP have actually come up with a really good idea. Now this has been around for a while now, but it's so it's suddenly starting to take off. So. For example, this lovely book here, I don't know whether you can just see it, my light, the light is in the way. So this one here is the 11 plus uh, maths book, the CEM maths book. Um, and this one basically has an online edition. So if I was to go onto the CGP website, and I'm actually going to share my screen with you so you can see what exactly what I'm doing. And you have bought, say, uh, this copy here. So if you've bought this copy and you're thinking, okay, I need the online edition, it actually says includes free online edition. So when you're purchasing, please make sure that you double check that you're getting the online edition. When you do that, on the inside uh, page, it will actually give you a code on how to access your online edition and it gives you a long code that you can pop in so if you then go to your cgp account and you go to your online products you can then enter your code below entering those lovely uh, digits that you've got there and there you have it you will have everything that you need as an online edition so here you can see i've got quite a few <laughs> it's not enough it's never enough so then if i say for instance unfortunately um i uh had to isolate for 10 days because of good old covid and some of my students i was not able to see face to face however they all had these online editions. So I could actually teach them online using the books that they are they wanting to follow. The downside is that sometimes it clicks the wrong one. So this one here is 11 plus verbal reasoning for the CEM test. So it does mean it's exactly the same as a normal book. You can flick through it. You can actually type in here which page you want to go on to. Um, and obviously you can then use Zoom annotate to write the answers in or they can actually do that whilst you're sat there talking through it with them and they can then answer it in their books uh, and you can sort of do back and forth. Some of my students do actually like to just fill this in um, which is absolutely fine. Others like to put it into their books and then they tell me what those answers are, but it just allows them to have something visual that's in front of them. Uh, a question that I get asked quite a lot about these is, um, do you use it for the whole lesson? Is it just like worksheets? No. So all, I'm always doing a teaching input or something first. If you haven't seen my bamboozle, um, episode it's really really short my little video on uh, bamboozle please look at that video because that's really good for introducing a new topic or indeed actually doing an ass a mini assessment quiz on a topic that you've already been doing uh, then you do some sort of teaching around maybe here you've got homophones I might do some sort of activities and then to see whether they've understood it that's when I use the task um, that is in the books it allows the student to see and uh, apply what they've learned it also sort of allows the parents to see what they've been up to in lessons as well some students obviously don't like workbooks but CGP it's very well laid out uh, there is answers in the back some of my uh, it's really lovely like the this one here it actually had a booklet in the back 
and you probably, you probably can't see it did have a booklet in the back and actually this one i ended up taking the answer booklet out so that the um student couldn't go right to the back and take out the answers and have a little look for themselves um so there are really good things to the cgp but i highly highly recommend if you are able to get an online edition then make sure you get that um long code type it in and use it for your online sessions it's definitely worth it hope that helps a little bit if you've got any other questions or concerns then please feel free to drop us a little comment below and we will get back to you as soon as we can thanks again bye